I'm teaching a uh, course at Campbellsville University this fall on politics and journalism and the U.S. Senate race. Mm. And I ask uh, my students, all very uh, bright and, uh, and eager to talk uh, politics at Campbellsville, uh, um, I asked them to pose a question. And the question that they came up with uh, was that uh, they may be, as millennials, the first generation that could possibly not live to the same standard of yeah. living as their parents. And they very plainly wanted to know what, what hope, what sort of future you can talk about uh, if they vote for you so they will have some economic stability in their lives and something to live for. That's a very good question. And polls today indicate that for the first time in anybody's memory, the history of polling, People are concerned about leaving behind a better country for their children than their parents left behind for them. That's been the belief of every generation going back to the founding fathers that we had a generational obligation to leave behind a better America than our parents left behind for us. Why are people questioning that these days? I'll tell you. We've added more debt during the Obama years than all the presidents from George Bush from George Washington down to George Bush. We have this slow economic growth which depresses the job market. It's been particularly acute for 18 to 30 year olds hmm. who get out of school and f can't find that they're living back at home because they can't find work. The solution to lifting the spirits of the people of this country and in particularly the, your students and younger people is to have jobs and opportunity and a future. And that is directly related to the behavior of the federal government. The spending, the borrowing, the taxing, the regulating have all had a depressing effect on the economy, keeping the job growth much lower than it should be and thereby depressing the spirits of, ironically, a group of people who mostly voted for the president. I mean, they've really not <laughs> the young gotten a very good deal out of mm -hmm. this so far. But look, I, I'm always reminded of what Churchill said about the Americans. He said, you know, the Americans always do the right thing after they've tried everything else first. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, we've tried all this stuff. Yeah. You know, we've made America look like a Western European country. Big debts, high taxes, overregulation, slow growth. We ought to go in a different direction. And I'm confident, whether it's in the last two years of Barack Obama or soon thereafter, we are going to go in a different direction, and they are going to have a bright future. We, we always fix our problems. We've been through civil wars and world wars and all the rest. We'll get this fixed. I've got about 30 seconds left. I want to ask you uh, to name me one person who has, who has profoundly and deeply uh, changed your life, uh, whether you as a young person or uh, mentored along the way, someone that you look up to and still do for guidance. Well, not still do, but I think the earliest impression on me was from John Sherman Cooper when I was a young man, who's obviously not here any longer, but who was a role model of statesmanship that I looked up to and admired and was the first uh, person of serious prominence in the land, of, in, in, in political life that I ever knew. Uh, Senator, uh, thanks very much for uh, sharing your thoughts with us. Thank you, Bill.